All right, so today I'm gonna try and demonstrate a, uh, a technique that I've not seen anyone use before, but this is a 3D printed piece that I'm working with. And you'll see that there's a gap here because in that gap is gonna sit this power supply. So I wanted a low profile, so I've, I've got that. Um, and I've taken the standoffs off of this power supply, but you'll see that the standoffs were there to prevent those parts from, from striking the bottom of the case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this in here. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna lay this in here like that. And then I'm gonna mark the places where it goes, pull it back out, blast the area between it with heat, and then I'm gonna press fit it in there. And the, uh, this is PLA, by the way. The goal is gonna to be to deform that PLA. And I've, I've, I accounted a couple of millimeters extra for this purpose. The goal is to deform the PLA just where those parts would ordinarily strike it, such that I get an extra, I don't know, three or four millimeters out of the out of the height. Probably only maybe two millimeters off of the board. Uh, uh, but the standoffs were about four millimeters high. So here we go. Things that I will do for four millimeters. And let's get this to mark. Oops. My marks are not likely to show up on the on the video, but it's just I think the substance of the technique will be. All right. And you will butane torch. Now I already have wire in there, so I need to I need to be gentle with the heat. The wire is on this side. Orientation check. Power's gonna come in this way. <clears throat> that's the, okay, that's the orientation. Here we go. Have to do it while it's still warm. a lot of area. I'm not sure that I heated it enough. No, I didn't. That did something. Hey! Getting a result. Need more heat though. I might need to refuel my lighter. Oh, I see the infill coming through now, which is okay, but oh, yeah, I feel that sink in there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Need to hit it a little more over here though because those other pins are, actually I should probably put those screws back in too, but I can deal with that later. I had to loosen up the screws on the bottom of this power supply um, because I didn't have a, uh, the, the manufacturer was kind of sloppy about how they put these heat sinks on and they were crooked. So my modeling measurements um, were made off of another power supply. And so the, these two edges of the heat sink fin were splayed out a little more than, than spec. So I had to cope with that. But that looks like it may have done the trick. Probably could use a little deeper inset there. Yeah, so depending on your part, and this is a large part, so by, by the standards of what I've done in the past, um, usually they're just like power jacks or something that I, that I, I drill out loosely. Or I, I'm sorry, I, I model it out loosely, and then I, I press fit the part in after the part has been printed. I think that'll do it. Got all those little divots over there, I think. Looks flush. 
certainly looks flush. And there you have it. So now, uh, I have two eyes, and those of you watching the video don't have the perspective, but um, I'll try and tilt it around in the shadow so you can see it. Uh, it's not going to work um, because the, the plastic's black, but uh, there's there's no shadow underneath of that hole. So now I'm just going to take a take a hand drill and puncture a hole in it right there and put the screws right in. So the case has now become the standoff. There you have it.